Hi, my name is Josephine Wilkins. I'm an intuitive guide. I've been guiding people for the last 10 years, over 10 years, to assist them with healing their wounds. It helps me heal my wounds. It helps me better understand how to hone my intuition and guide other people to better understand how to hone their own. I've written a book called Love Beams. Check it out on Amazon. I also have an amazing club membership, which you can join with a free 90-day trial if you wish. Today's video inspiration I got all jazzed and excited to go outside and do this video, but my battery is dying. So I'm going to charge it up and do this video from my kitchen. And the topic that keeps coming around in my sessions, which I think is a really, really important one that I wanted to dive more fully into today, is the topic of getting what we want. The process in between us declaring what we want and then it actually arriving for us to receive it. It's a journey. It's part of why we showed up in our soul curriculum. Each one of us has arenas or many arenas sometimes where we are flexing muscles of receiving, of staying patient in the process in which the time it takes between a setting a desire and actually really seeing it come to fruition. I had a couple sessions this week where people were angry and they were yelling. I had another session where a woman was crying. Um, I had another session where person was just sharing their deep impatience. This is all very, very natural, very normal, very common to feel frustrated on the journey of getting what you want. Some important things to remember. This is not new information, but I'm setting the intention that as you hear it, it helps bring calm and soothing to yourself. As you remember that you came down here with a soul curriculum, there were certain challenges adversities, circumstances that you set up vibrationally so that you would go through your journey of life. And there would be times in which you would hit major adversity. A lot of that adversity is a time in which you set the intention of what you want and then the time in between you actually getting it. Now what I have seen again and again, over and over, time and time again, what helps speed that up is remembering your soul curriculum, is remembering that this is part of why you're here. That can ease the tension in your body. It can relax your focus. It can help you give you energy to redirect your attention as to where you're placing your energy on. Another thing that's really important to do is to play this game, which you know, and I call it a game because if you can keep it a game, it is super powerful. And that is the game of acting as if. Now people say to me, I've done this before, and perhaps you've done it before, but I guarantee you, if what you desire hasn't come into your reality right now, you haven't mastered it yet in that specific arena in terms of consistency or the heightened vibration that is needed to pull in what you want. Acting as if, moving through your entire day, as if what you want is already here. What are the feelings that are cultivated from you actually getting it, which we think will come um, by you receiving, but it actually comes much earlier because when you condition yourself to align with these higher frequencies again and again over and over what happens is that you get super 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 mastered at compassion at kindness at gentleness now all of us have areas where this is easy for us where we just showed up and we're like oh I got this down and some people have one arena some people have many arenas where this isn't easy for us where the consistency of our heightened vibration is something that is very difficult to sustain. If you can be loving and gentle and kind and compassionate with yourself on the journey of you strengthening this vibrational muscle, things get really good. Because then <clears throat> you remember why you're here. Then you open up and you soften to learning and to being more available to, oh wow, how can I receive the expert knowledge and information that's necessary for me to sustain these higher frequencies over a long period of time. If you can study other people and see how other people around you are sustaining this vibration, and most importantly, if you can keep it fun, even in the days when you're not in your highest vibration, even in your days when you're the most depressed and most out of line, if you can redirect your attention, redirect your focus, and ask yourself again and again, over and over, how can I keep this light? In that lightness, you remember that you can do this. You remember that you're not alone. 
You remember that you have so much support. You remember that you showed up so that you could forget why you're here, so that you could forget how to manifest and then manifest to a degree that it wowed you endlessly. So for all of us that are feeling frustrated, that are so angry, that are crying, that what they desire is not here yet, I'm giving you an enormous hug and so much love as I ask you please to be gentle and kind and nourishing with yourself in these times, to be open to keeping it light, to be open to reminding yourself that this is why you showed up, that you showed up to become a master in the arena that you are struggling currently in. And in that humbling, in that softening, you remember love. You remember how to love yourself. You remember how to love all parts of yourself. And if that idea of loving yourself is too foreign or difficult to understand, start with compassion. Because what I see is that most people get compassion and they can sink into that in the moments in which they feel gripped, overwhelmed, or unsupported. Join our club membership. I have a deal going on right now until April 7th that when you sign up, if you want, you get a 90 day free trial to try it out. And if you invite your friends, you yourself, if you're a current member, you get $5 off your monthly membership. So that means if you get eight people to sign up, that means that you get your monthly membership for free for as long as you wish. That's really cool. Every week on Sundays, we talk about these kind of topics and we go into downloads that I get when I go high into the mountains as to what is important for us to know right now, to stay on track, to stay in alignment, to stay heart open and heart centered and receiving all that we wish and all we desire as we are vibrational leaders here, guiding others through our tonality as to what is love, as to how to stay in these higher frequencies, how to keep ourselves healthy and vibrant and staying strong. My website is josephinewilkins.com. Check it out, and I'm excited to connect with you soon.